Hello, hello. What I'm going to do is I am going to talk over this video <laughs> because I managed to completely mess up with my little mic. It's actually not a very good mic. And so I'm having to do this with headphones while editing the film. Okay. Right, here I am using a little white Arkansas stone to create a slight dent into the glass to produce the eye. I like to start with the eye because it is the character and then you look at the little character for the rest of the engraving and that's rather fun and you, you see the whole animal uh, emerge from the glass. Um, and as you will have seen from the text I put on there, that there is a bit of an offset from where the camera is, when my head gets out the way, of course. Um, so I can see directly over the, the glass, but you can't. So I'm tracing exactly where the eyeball is. So I've also um, engraved the little nose and mouth with the white Arkansas, and of course I'll be polishing this out in a moment to make it look dark as it should be because at the moment it's a little bit light. So here I've got a very small brown rubber. Sorry about my head. It's very difficult um, trying to get the camera around me and <laughs> once my head is down I can't see whether you can whether you can see me engraving or not. Uh, I'll get it right eventually. So the white Arkansas polishes out very, very easily because it's so smooth already. And that's a nice soft half tone. So here I'm about to use a tiny little diamond coated burr. It is actually a very short 1.6 millimeter shank burr, which I have fitted into an adapter to make it into a 2.35 millimeter shank, which fits comfortably into my drill. Sorry about the hair. Um, so behind my curtain of hair, I'm engraving the small details around the eye. While I've got the picture there and I can see it's very important to get quite accurately what is going on around the edge to really pick up the character and then from there you build the rest of the animal. I'm taking away the picture so that you can see the beginnings of the eye. It's ever so slightly dented into the glass with giving the impression that is protruding slightly as an eyeball would uh, slightly curved and this you'll only pick up when the light catches it which it didn't really do in this camera angle and so put the picture back behind the glass and one can carry on picking up all the main details it's a wonderful transparent medium that we've got and so you might as well use it So what I have here is rather an old rat's tail burr, which has diamond all the way down. And you can see how I have flattened the top to get to the fresh diamond. This is very useful to engrave little hairs. And what I'm going to do here, oh, I can see, right, I decided it wasn't flat enough. So I'm going to flatten it a little bit more to get down to the fresh diamond. What I'm using here is a green stone burr. And just turn it slightly um, and it, it will very, very easily flatten. I'm trying to hold it directly right angled to it. No, 
up with the dripping water. And I will start to pick up the main features, the little hairy toes, <laughs> if you can see. It does get better, I promise. Working wet. Now, as you can see, I have not done a half tone outline like I do for the leaves, for example. I have simply started engraving a rough edge, if you like. And this is with a diamond, but I will be going over a lot of this with uh, stones to make it a half tone and blend it and and play with it and it, it is literally like doing a painting it's important to pick up its own feature hairs it looks like he has little ripples of hair on the front foot there so this is part of the character of the animal So once again, I am looking over the top of the glass and seeing something quite different to what you're seeing from the camera angle. I'm tracing the edges of the ear. So now I've got rather a big diamond coated burr it's a little bit blunt on the end but i'm not going to be using the end the point of it i'm going to be using it on its side because it's quite coarse and therefore it's going to give me some interesting little effects as i think i mentioned at the beginning of this video it's a very thin glass not too thin, but certainly not what I would want to go deep with. So this is surface engraving. So you're trying to get the hair in the right direction. Um, so it's basically the brush strokes of the spur in the right direction. It just helps if you, there's, if you see texture. Uh, the rubber will pick it up later on and will just add to the effect. I am once again engraving the light where I am seeing the lightest area of hair that is what I'm picking up as I said it is like painting 
so you're doing the various shades and I can I can half tone this I can shade it then I can make it bright again in areas I can play with it um, I'm not going very deep at all so I've got quite a bit to play with to get the effect that I want in the end soft towel. I use kitchen towels. Give it a wipe and you'll see that it comes nice and bright as it dries. And you can start to see how you're doing. We'll soon be taking the picture away because the picture is annoying ha having it there so it's really just to get all the main shapes and details in.